final topic we want to consider as we look at God the Father is the problem of evil. Um, evil is, the topic of evil, the subject of evil, is a bit of a dilemma. We have seen that God is good, uh, that God is beautiful, that God is true. That is a part of his nature, his attributes. We've seen that God is all-powerful, uh, that he made creation good. So then, how do we explain the presence of evil in the world? The dilemma is sometimes put this way. Um, if God is all-powerful, then he can stop evil in the world. If God is all-loving, then he would want to stop all evil in the world. The fact that there is evil in the world means that God is either not all-powerful or not all-loving. So this is the dilemma that is sometimes uh, thrown in the direction of Christians uh, by those who do not share our faith. And how we respond to that dilemma is called, the technical term is theodicy. Theodicy is the theological task of responding to the dilemma that there is evil in the world, evil in the world that is governed by a God who is both all-powerful and all loving. Theodicy comes from the words theos, God, and DK, meaning uh, defense. So literally, theodicy is we're defending God. You know, God's character is being challenged here. Either God is not all powerful or God is not all loving. And so theodicy is a defense of God, an argument defending his nature and character in the light of the evil that is in the universe. Now, evil is typically classified in two categories. We have moral evil and natural evil. Moral evil is fairly um, self-explanatory. Um, I was just in the library before this class, um, picked up a book from a pile of books in there, and uh, it was uh, on the influence of the occult in the Third Reich, the, the government of Adolf Hitler, right? And truly Nazism was a moral evil. And we can think of many other examples of moral evil. Various forms of violence, abuse, theft, um, some forms of conflict. Some forms of conflict are, are very moral and necessary, but there can be forms of conflict that are evil. So moral evil. You can understand what that would be. Natural evil, here we're talking about you know, catastrophes, accidents, tragedies, uh, natural phenomena, weather, and so on, that bring about evil results. So typically, when Christian theologians and philosophers think about a theodicy, that's a starting place, is to differentiate these two different kinds of evil, moral evil, natural evil. Now, it is an impossible task in our brief time together to lay out a comprehensive theodicy, a, a comprehensive theology of evil. There are entire courses, um, typically in the apologetics department, that would look at such a thing. 
So my purpose here is just to do a really, just a survey of some of the approaches. So one approach is um, what we'll call a free will theodicy. <clears throat> that is, moral evil can be explained because God has delegated decision-making authority to human beings. God could have created a world in which God um, uh, governed every aspect of that world. Right? Uh, but that, that doesn't sound like something that a good God would do. Just like a good parent would not you know, lock a child, you know, in, in their bedroom and never let them to come out, never let them come out and never expose them to anything at all that might influence them in some negative way. I mean, you could probably save a child from a lot of grief by doing that, but there's going to be some other evil <laughs> outcomes by doing that. So in the same way, God has delegated decision-making authority to human beings. And moral evil is what led to the fall, which damaged the natural order and thus introduced natural evil. So natural evil has proceeded from moral evil. And in fact, some natural evil, not, not even just in some kind of a mystical way, but sometimes there's direct correlations. So, uh, for instance, um, you know, uh, the moral evil of um, pollution, say, uh, leads to some natural evil, some cha changes in the environment, changes in the atmosphere. Um, uh, greedy, um, you know, ignoring some of the wisdom of the Old Testament that talked about limited um, crop harvesting and letting the land rest. Well, when you don't do that, what happens is, is forests die and, and uh, you know, riverbeds erode and things like that. So sometimes natural evil, very much not just in a spiritual way, but in a very practical way, flows from moral evil. Um, so... The free will theodicy would argue that God values free will more than he values a world without evil. That is, God was willing to take the risk of allowing human beings to have free will and therefore create a free moral agents.